in fact sometimes i also basically don't get that motivation to study but see the final achievement if you prepare well dsa then you might get placed in the top companies and you might earn a good life in fact iit j students also know what they are going to achieve after the two years of hard work that's why they do hard work consistently they do hard work hello everyone welcome to this video myself vishesh i will be taking you through this video of how to stay motivated to study so guys we will discuss like what are the things that demotivate us in fact sometimes i also basically don't get that motivation to study so how we can reboot ourselves to get in that zone of studying to achieve something and if you like this video i am sure it will help you to stay motivated to study and for more such amazing content you can subscribe to coding ninja's channel so stay tuned so guys first tip is like that break your goal into smaller parts suppose you have a big goal in front of you right now it might feel demotivated to you because you might think that it's not possible it's nearly impossible so suppose suppose you want to prepare for interviews so there are a lot of things that you need to do you need to prepare for dsa you need to do development you need to prepare core subjects of computer science you need to do aptitude right so there are a lot of things if you think of all this in a single at a single moment then you might find difficult right you might feel demotivated ya nahi ho payega but this is not a way you should divide your goal into smaller parts you think of first dsa only right and then development only in this way you will be able to achieve your goal and make yourself motivated so suppose you want to practice dsa and you have to complete like 450 questions of a sheet right so these 450 questions are very big number in fact but if you if you try to do 9 10 questions every day then it would be only 50 days work right so try dividing your goal into smaller parts so guys second tip is like look at the final achievement right so after studying some particular thing you will be achieving something right suppose you are not getting confidence in dsa preparation but see but see the final achievement if you prepare well dsa then you might get placed in the top companies and you might earn a good life so these are the these final achievement will boost your confidence it will basically push you to to basically do hard work to study right and this is this is something not only restricted to dsa in fact iit j students also know what they are going to achieve after the two years of hard work that's why they do hard work consistently they do hard work so the reminder of the final achievement will push you towards your goal will push you to study consistently so make sure you think of the final achievement so guys third tip is that you should reward yourself see we have to do a hard work for long time consistently to achieve big targets right so our target is like getting placed in a company cracking iit je so these are not the things that you can do in one month or i mean 15 to 20 days so these are basically big targets and you need some time to achieve these targets so if you want reward yourself at at small targets then you may feel demotivated so when you complete when you divide your big target into smaller ones then you should reward yourself at completion of the smaller targets it will give you energy and mental satisfaction that you are doing something really cool really helpful right so reward yourself guys one thing if you want to prepare data structures and algorithms then there are amazing courses available on our coding ninjas website you can visit there and these courses are available in c++ java and python apart from these data structures and algorithms course there are aptitude courses there are courses for computer science core subjects and there are courses for development as well you can learn app development you can learn machine learning you can learn web development so you should visit once coding ninjas website to explore these courses and yes we organize some scholarship 
scholarship tests also so you can grab the amazing discounts and scholarships also so once visit our code ninjas website so guys fourth tip is that you should establish some reasonable goals right so if you are if you are like like you are preparing for interviews right so you might say that i will complete 40 to 50 dsc questions in a day so this is something impossible task right not everyone can do this even if you try to do this then you might be reducing the quality of the problems you might be doing the same type of problems you might be doing only easy problems so this is not fruitful right establish some reasonable goals like 9 to 10 questions each day you have to do that task with complete dedication it's not only basically you have to do this just do this this is this is not something right so you should basically establish reasonable goals and that will give you motivation so once let's say you are completing 9 10 questions every day for dsa right so it will give you motivation at the end of the day like you have did your do you have completed your target so if you are not able to complete your target of 40 50 questions then it will make you demotivated so don't establish such basically foolish goals establish some reasonable goals so guys fifth tip is that you should prepare a time table once you have a time table you will be knowing like what to do when so if you don't have a time table you won't be knowing like what to do right so you might end up getting demotivated once you have the time table you will be completing the tasks on time and then it will give you some motivation like something is going your way right everything is happening you are completing the task so make a time table also and be positive yaar being positive can take you to the higher heights right be positive guys sixth tip is that you should have some peer group like it helps a lot so when you are not getting something you can take a help from your one of your friend and when your friend is doing something more than you then you should also try to push yourself let's say your friend is doing very great in competitive programming then you should also basically get motivated to do competitive programming so if you are not feeling motivated for study looking at your friends your peer group how good they are doing you will be also pushing yourself towards your goal right and and yes if you have some doubts you can ask your friend so basically it's not like you are studying alone right so once you have some doubt you can ask immediately to your friend you can get your doubts resolved immediately by your friends so that's the advantage of peer group establish it so guys the tips that i mentioned before are usual ones there are some others as well like doing multitasking suppose you are doing dsc and development at the same time basically preparation of dsc and development at the same time so these things are not basically we are able to afford and then we end up getting demotivated so if you follow this video na then you will definitely see the change in a week right so follow this video and for more such amazing videos you can subscribe to our coding ninjas channel we will keep bringing such videos to make you motivated to teach you something new right all the best keep learning